Hey Trab, Coach Moose here. Two weeks, we're going into week three. Congratulations. You'll be seeing this video Monday morning. You can still hear some hammering happening over there as we continue to work on the deck. Functional fitness. <laughs> How did the burpees go? That was the spicy one, wasn't it? Burpees with the squats. No rest. But man, good for you guys for chipping away at it and getting it done. Because that's all that matters, right? It's just little bit by bit. Now, as we head into week three, I, I know nutrition is always something that people tend to struggle with, right? Because it's really all the time. Nutrition isn't one of those things that you do it and you don't do it. It, it is, it's all time. It's how we nourish ourselves, right? And I'm not one of those guys that says, eat this, don't eat that. I don't like to say foods are good or bad. I'm not here to apply morality or judgment to the foods that we eat. Food's food. Calories are calories. The macronutrients that go into making up the foods are fairly common. It's fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. What I do realize is that some people, when they look at the macronutrient content of the food and the, the percentages, this is where we might go awry. Sometimes we might be having just a bit too much carbohydrates, more than our body requires. And it puts our blood sugar into a roller coaster sort of a, a feeling where we, we, we're always constantly trying to balance our energy levels. And that can be pretty frustrating because when we have those dips mid-morning or mid-afternoon, what do we do? We reach for more sugary treats. That's where sometimes we want some caffeine, maybe some sugar in the beverage, maybe a pop, uh, and then some sort of, uh, you know, like a donut or a pastry because we, we, it spikes our glycemic index. And when that happens, uh, we, we feel like we got an energy high, but unfortunately it's not sustainable. And then it crashes, and then what do we do? We try to do it again. And, and so we're on this roller coaster of ups and downs, uh, peaks and valleys, if you will. So this week, this is my challenge to you as you head into week three. Every morning when you wake up, make sure you get some water. And secondly, when you have breakfast, try to eat more protein, okay? I see a lot of people that have a lot of carbohydrates, so they might have oatmeal. Great, that's awesome. And then they'll have some banana with it. Awesome. Maybe they'll have a glass of juice with it. Oh, wow, great, more calories. But you'll notice here, all it is is carbohydrates. So you need some healthy fats and you need some proteins. So try to get at least 25 grams of protein with every meal, okay, 25 grams. It's 100 calories of protein with every meal. Okay, that's what you're gonna try this week. And you tell me how, what that does for you. It's gonna make you feel more satiated. You're gonna see your metabolism become uh, better regulated. You're also gonna find that your energy level sustains itself as you start to curtail that uh, peak and valley or roller coaster effect, uh, okay? So just trust me on that one. Eat more protein, all right? And there's lots of different ways to do that. Kathy Smart's website's awesome. She's got a couple cool recipes for protein pancakes. And uh, we'll try to dig up that link and include it in the email for you. That's three minutes. That's it. Week three, guys. Whoa! Celebrate it. Have fun. Enjoy. And the workout's a little bit lighter. Just give your legs a bit of a break. It's more core focused as we kick off Monday, day 15. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later, and I'll see you in the group. Bye.